So, to me, <laughs> it's um, it's a no-brainer. To be able to look up and see the stars at night, clear, bright, would remind us all where we are, what we are, and that is, it is truly remarkable when you see the grandeur of our galaxy. We are living organisms who can comprehend where we are, what we are, and the responsibility that has to ourselves and all the other beings living on this planet because on this planet this tiny speck is really where the magic happens The Earth is beautiful. Mars is desolate. Space is vast, bleak. But we here on this planet have the haven. And we've got to start looking after it. Or all the predictions of death and destruction are sure to occur. The people have seen in recent days, recent months, over the last year. That people power is stronger than anything. And if the people want it, the people can have it. And all the rich institutions, some of them been going for thousands of years, will have to let go of their power. If we want it, we can have it. So, how would this new world order, which I say we need, actually come about? Well, I think it would obviously need worldwide overwhelming support, say in the regions of 70 to 80 percent of the people, of the population need to want it first and if that could be displayed that that was the case then I think a system of internet voting could be used and um, perhaps through a body the United Nations which I would say at the moment is currently the world leader as a world organization could set up an, 
an election, perhaps have a primary, secondary, tertiary elections based on internet votes, starting with a very simple five-point manifesto, moving into a more intricate manifesto, and um, finally, perhaps between five different ideas, all scrutinised, debated, publicised, and then a final vote on a system for the world. Some way the world, as one, can move forward.